it's a big risk, new start, different country, but honestly, it's what me and Tony really want. Where is he anyway? He had to go out early. I'm just worried, OK, because I can't help but think what's going to happen to me and Steve if someone else ends up owning everything. I mean, what's to stop them just kicking us out? Yeah, but when I spoke to his solicitor, he said all his client wants is someone else to run the place. And who better than you two? What do you reckon? Well, we're still getting paid. And if you're happy, I am happy. Oh, come here. <laughs> Get off. Yeah, OK, I'm outside the flat now. I'll tell him. Ah, oh, I've been waiting for this. What? Don't tie your boyfriend to a lamppost. Don't give him a tattoo. Honestly, scouse on it. It's going to be a very low-key affair, nothing too mad. A few pints in bed by 10.30. Yeah, that's not why I'm here. Something wrong? I've been on a stag do for ages, mate. Me either. After the day I've had, I could do with a few beers. <laughs> so, how do I look? Same as yours look, Sean. Uh, excuse me, I've got a new shirt and a new jacket. How did it start again, eh? How do I look? Radiant. <laughs> <laughs> You've been using that word of the day bug roll again, Jess. <laughs> Lloyd, bad news. My dad's had to go off and, well, he's bailed on us. Where's the condemned man, then? He's not coming, either. Oh, he's done a runner. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Just spoken to Michelle. Steve's phone from town. Says he's having a bit of a panic attack about getting on the minibus again. Can't face it. Wants to be left on his own. Now, oh, this is a wind-up. Sorry, lads. I don't believe this. I've took the afternoon off work. I've got clean boxes on everything. Uh, excuse me, that's now. It's, I've had a facial. Look, why don't we just go anywhere, yeah? Like you say, we're all here and we've got the minibus. Yeah, but you can't have a stag night without the stag. Why not? Well, because then it's just a night. No, Gary's right. Let's go. Well, I'm game. I don't know. Well, as long as he's bare, I suppose. <laughs> Come on, mate. You've organised all this. Shame to waste it. Ah, oh, stuff it. Let's do it. Yes. Yeah. Where are we going, then? All will be revealed in time. You big scouse tease, eh, git? Ah, come on, then, Jase. Give us another can. Hey. What are you doing here? Bunting? Maybe. Is that for me and Steve? Maybe. It was oh, a surprise. I'm sorry. Do you want me to go out and come back in again? Yes. No. So, what sort of bridezilla? What do you mean? Well, I can always tell when this all ends up. So, so, sit down. Tell me what's up. OK, well, Liz has decided to sell her half of the pub to Travis Limited. You know, they're the same company that Steve sold his share to. <laughs> And you're worried what this is going to mean for you and him? Well, yeah. Well, you know, if it comes to it, you've always got a job here. I know that, and I appreciate it, but it's not just the job, is it? It's our home and all. And it's also your hen night. So how about we forget about this just for now, and me and you head into town and get this party started a little bit earlier? Mm, don't really feel like getting smashed. Who's on about getting smashed? Could just get a little bit smashed. Oh, I'll make mine a double. Woohoo! <laughs> Pass my cup. It's the happy couple. Yeah. Sorry, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay, Anna. <laughs> so where is he then? Uh, he well, he texted to say he's probably gonna go to the cinema. Oh, he's stag night. Mind you, at least he's not getting his eyebrows shaved off or something <laughs> like that. Mm. <laughs> you know, sure he's how the head looks. Probably just having a bit of a wobble. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew's right. Let's have a drink, eh? Yes. Yeah. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the bubbles just went right on my nose. <laughs> oh, can we have a straw for Maria? <laughs> Sounds like a first walk. <laughs> <laughs> so, any news on the others? Nope, not heard anything. But I'm sure they're all having a good time. You know what them lot are like. <laughs> any excuse for an easel? <laughs> sure I can't change your mind about hitting a club later? Yeah, I just want a couple of drinks, that's all. Mm, youngsters these days, no staying power. Should we sit down? <laughs> hey, missus. Still worried about Steve. Steve, this place. Like you say, what can I do about it? Here we are, girls. Hey, just think, a month from now you could be lying by the pool. Ooh, yeah. oh. Cocktail in one end. Fag in the other. Oh, but then some cream into Tony's knocking. <laughs> Although she'd need another hand for that one. You must be a bit nervous though, eh, Liz? Leaving all this behind. Well, a bit, but pub will still be here, Steve and Michelle. Yeah, yeah we'll still be here. Mm -hmm. 
you lot look like you've been having a good time. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Just the wedding to get through now. Mm. So, did you manage to sort out whatever it was you had to do? Yeah, that's what I'm really sorry about missing the stuff, though. You have got nothing to apologise. I thought you'd gone out. No, just went for a walk. Why is everything all right? Yeah? I was just thinking what you said about this place earlier. What about it? So, if this investor only owned 50%, you and Steve would be all right, yeah? Yeah. So what if somebody else bought this a share? Like you? Like me? Oh, no, hang on a minute. Listen, I want to help. And if somebody's willing to buy out her share, there must be a profit in it. But well, I can't ask you to do that. You didn't ask, I offered. Don't say anything to anyone. Not until I'm sure I can come up with the money, all right? I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you don't need to say anything. 